starting to get more excited. I haven't had time to really think about being excited yet because um, this has been such a busy week that I've just had to like get through one day at a time. So I think I'm mentally still processing like three days ago. <laughs> hmm. But um, really excited. We've done some really, we've done some really special things this week. She's leaving for her first deer hunt ever. First ever deer hunt. Not right only, now. okay, so usually I like to phase people in. I, I let them tag along and not hunt for a while. You know, a year or so. So I see if they're excited about actually going. Like if they like being out there. But not for Alexandra. She's going the full on. Not only is she going along for the hunt, but she's the trigger lady. Yep. She's the one who's got the tag. She's the one who has to shoot the critter. And uh, and I yeah. still don't know how I feel about that. She's not totally sold on that yet. So but all of you people out there who aren't totally sure about it either, watching us, just trying to figure out what wise off the grid looks like for you, I'm right there with you. Here's what. Here's here's our plan. We're gonna go for a date, a long <laughs> couple day date. We're gonna walk around in the hills and take our rifle. And we're gonna have zero expectations beyond that. This is my first box. This is for me, which I'm really excited about. Mm -hmm. Thank you for a slight. Since this is you guys' first deer hunt, I want you to have your ratios in, uh, in mind. This is my, this is my mass of 2018 Nevada mule deer. Um, this is good. This is thumbs up. This is thumbs pretty high up. This is like maybe one thumb up and like a second one mostly up. And then this is my biggest mule deer of all time. That thumbs way, way up. So get a, get a feel for the size here we're looking at. Obviously quite a bit of variation, but any of these are good, but this is the best. As you can see, we haven't even hit the dirt yet. And hitting the dirt, once we hit the dirt, we still have about an hour and a half to drive. And the sun is setting. What that means is, uh, we get the opportunity to set up our wall tent and camp in the dark. Zero Dark 30, morning one of Alexandra Deer Hunt 2018. Uh, I'm cooking up have some coffee for everybody. Get the blood moving. Alexandra is wearing all her clothes and still in bed here like a little cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get out when it's time to put my shoes on. She's gonna get out when she has to. <laughs> Day two, we're uh, getting a ride up the gnarly road that my truck can't make to the high country where I like to hunt. So I'm pretty excited. I think it's gonna be a good day.
starting to feel like I have to poop. Which is a good sign because I almost always kill something right after I have to poop. So it's good luck. It went just how I expected it to. Pretty much as soon as we put boots on the ground in the snow line up there in the high country, we started seeing deer. I mean, I think the first deer I spotted of the whole trip was right on the snow line, not, not at the snow line, like the snow line was a deer was standing on it. So it was kind of cool because uh, you have these theories that you develop as a hunter, but it's nice to have them confirmed. There you stinkers are. Spotted a couple of small bucks and some does. Oh, I don't know if we should make a move on those forkies or not. Yeah, we're not here to sightsee. We ain't here to sightsee, we're here to shoot some. I was really excited to see an animal with horns on it, or just an animal at all. So when David asked me if those books were big enough for me to shoot, I was like, what else are we here for? So then we moved in on them, but probably a little bit too fast and we scared them off. I had asked David to take photos with me before we moved in on those, and he said, no, we're hunting. And so then I was like, okay, now can we take photos? And he said yes, and it was perfect, so it was snowy and in the trees and where he used to camp for bow hunting. And so it was really special. He showed me the tree that he sleeps in, and it was all picturesque. It was great. And then as fate would have it, after that photo shoot was when we saw the buck that I shot. We got set up on that, those two small bucks, and I got the deer in frame, and went down to help Alexandra think through the shot, which she didn't need my help at all. I left the camera running on him, thinking it would be fine. Came back to look at it, and then the battery died just as I got him in frame. So sorry for not having the uh, sorry for not having the kill shot, but Alexandra just got her first deer. There she is, the huntress. <sighs> How you doing, baby? That's a lot of adrenaline. A lot just happened very quickly. We were just cruising. We just took some nice couples photos in the trees, and then we were walking over here, and I decided to peek at what I would call a blind spot, and there was a couple bucks right there. <sighs> and if you're in range and you see antlers, Probably gotta, should shoot it. You gotta just do it. That's good enough, baby. It's a tag punched. <laughs> life thing is over mm -hmm. and now the we get to just and gore part is done enjoy the benefits of eating yeah the food side the begins. harvest David promised me that if it was a good trip he would take me to the hot springs on the way home because we only mm -hmm. have three days before if we had early success we would go to the hot springs this first hunting trip for me was crucial in my understanding of what Wise Off the Grid looks like for me on a personal level because in the past it's always been really easy for me to support David and his passion for hunting but I have never really um, been able to appreciate taking the life of an animal myself. So going on this first hunting trip and being able to pull the trigger and be excited about it um, eventually <laughs> after I was done crying was um, really reassuring for me to know that I will be able to not only support David and what he does um, in hunting, but what I am going to pursue in hunting. 
After this first hunting trip, I've really enjoyed being able to support David more tangibly by being out in the mountains with him and exploring and adventuring and seeing new creatures and um, being a lot closer to animals than I've ever been before. Um, just being out in the middle of nowhere, like seeing, <laughs> seeing the stars was like so powerful to me. Um, and to be able to experience that with David like brought us so much closer together as a married couple. Um, I feel like I just was able to fall in love with him again through the eyes of watching him love the world around him. And I think that that's what wise off the grid means to me is that we're gonna be able to love the world together as a married couple and also teach our children how to love the world, how to take care of it and how to respect it and also just share its beauty with the others around us in our community um, and just build those stronger relationships through hunting, through hunting with them and exploring the world with them and seeing new creatures that we've never seen before with them, um, with our kids and teaching them like how to just be so full of wonder and awe of like God's creation is something that I'm really looking forward to um, in my pursuit of hunting more. Um, another aspect of hunting that I'm pretty excited about is um, being able to come home and cook, which is one of my favorite hobbies and first passions in my life. Um, I worked at a gourmet restaurant, and so being able to take my knowledge and expertise as a gourmet chef and apply it to real, organic, whole food and just present it to my family and to our friends in a beautiful way.